NFL news and rumors coming at you here. Mitchell Reds, Tom Downey about eight feet apart. You know what, Tom? We're a few hundred feet away, it almost seems like, from Earl Thomas, who is in Houston. We thought about ET phone home. Not a problem, or what is it? Houston, Houston we, have, we a have a problem. There's a really good pun in there, but we're not smart enough to figure it out. Cowboys fans are in shambles. The report from uh, Adam Schefter is that Thomas is probably going to sign with the Houston Texans. He's in Houston right now. He's going to work out with them. Houston just placed one of their safeties on IR. They, need, they, need, they needed a safety anyway. He does have to go through COVID protocols and all of that. But it seems like Earl Thomas finally going to find the new home. Uh, it's also that you see the desperation in the Houston Texans who are 0-3. 3. Now, I don't know if they're an actual 0-3 team, right? I mean, you lost to the Chiefs, the they're Ravens, a, and Steelers. They are a good 0-3 team, but they are still 0-3. Still 0-3. They are getting a little bit desperate. Earl Thomas, though, could be headed to Houston. If he does go to Houston, guess what? We're going to make a video about it. We've done multiple Earl Thomas destination videos. But if you want NFL videos every single day, we basically release one every three hours. Plus, we go live Monday and Wednesday. 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. Also, though, Wednesday, we're going to be going live a little bit earlier, yeah. 4 p.m. that time. So make sure you go ahead and click that big red button that says subscribe. Let's go to Big You Know What Nick, and he is now the new starter in Chicago. Matt Nagy said, hey, moving forward, it's Nick Foles' job to lose. First off, very quick or quick trigger from the Bears to bench Mitch Trubisky three and, and, and team. insert Nick Foles. <laughs> uh, how many 3-0 and o teams do you know in NFL history that bench their quarterbacks, or even 2-0 and o teams based, based on when, when Trubisky went in? I think I guess at some point this was inevitable. Like sure. clearly the Bears do not have faith in Trubisky. That's why they brought in Nick Foles and guaranteed him a bunch of money. He was better than Trubisky in Week Three against the Atlanta Falcons, but I'm not convinced he's truly the solution to the Bears' offensive woes. Yes, he was better. He still wasn't as ideal in terms yeah. of play as I think you might otherwise expect. So we'll see what happens with Foles. I still don't fully trust this Bears team despite the impressive 3-0 and start. Yeah, and I don't really disagree with you, and I actually think the loss of a player like Tariq Cohen is really going to impact this team. Mm -hmm. But Allen Robinson played one heck of a game. Maybe instead of talking about quarterbacks, we can finally talk about potentially, I don't know, giving Allen Robinson the extension that he deserves. <laughs> I haven't paid him yet. <laughs> I can't believe it. Unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. Speaking of Chicago, if you're living in the Illinois area or if you just live near Chicago, I want you to go get started with our new sponsor here, Bet Rivers, 100% deposit bonus. All you got to do, it's simple. Go to chatsports.com slash bet, I-L, bet, Illinois. Or let's say you don't live in the Illinois area or in the state of Illinois, I guess I should say. You can hit me up on Instagram. I'm at MitchellRen365. Or you can hit up Tom at WhatGoingDowny. But go to chatsports.com slash bet, I-L. 100% deposit bonus means if you put down $100, you get $100 for free. All right, Tom, tell me now a little bit about Sugar House yeah, also. Yeah, Sugar House is based out of New Jersey, so if you live in that tri-state area, if you live in NYC or you visit the area often, same deal. You can sign up and deposit anywhere. You do have to be in the state to place a bet, so Correct. go check them out at chatsports.com slash betnj or NG or J. Still, same deal there, 100% deposit match up to 250 bucks. So should the Bears trade Mitchell Trubisky? Why for yes and for no? I think that they should. What are you going to get for him? I'm not sure. Would but anyone trade for him right now? Because I think the answer is maybe. No. He is a he was he has been a broken quarterback for the last year and a half. There might be a team crazy enough, but if you don't trade for him, he's just going to go next year. He's not going to come back to Chicago, I don't and then you get nothing for him. I, I, but I think that's the issue. I don't think you're going to get anything of actual value for Trubisky at this point. Ricardo Menu says, "Yeah." Gold Fox says, "No one wants him," and then Kevin Otto also typing his end for no. City of brotherly love has not been very loving towards Carson Wentz. Shocker for that. Season. Yeah, right? And is it time to bench him? We've heard stories all over the place. We've seen the rumor mill. The offense looks bad. Wentz doesn't look good. Is it time to go to Jalen Hurts? Well, <laughs> Doug Peterson said that might be a little bit of a stretch. Peterson's quote is exactly what I would expect him to say. He said, no, don't go there. That's a knee-jerk reaction. There's However, two problems with that, right? <laughs> Number one, Wentz has been bad, yes. and it, it, I know the offensive line is banged up and the receiving core is banged up, 
But the mistakes have been a lot on Wentz's shoulders. They've been his fault. His mechanics have completely regressed. It's very confusing. And the Eagles drafted Jalen Hurts in round two. That's our Bingo. second point. This is a quarterback controversy created by Philadelphia. Thank you. <laughs> if you don't want to have a quarterback controversy, you don't draft them. Don't go a quarterback in round two. This is exactly what happened. Like, for example, you know, if the Cowboys had drafted Jalen Hurts in round two, or if the Bears had drafted Hurts in round if two, any team drafts any quarterback in round two. Period. There's almost no doubt he's the quarterback of the future. Now, the Eagles just paid Wentz. That complicates things. But. The, the fact that they took Kurtz where they did, they invested what they did in him, makes it a, a legitimate controversy and discussion around Philadelphia, and the Eagles only have themselves to blame. Tom, if you don't answer this one quick, I'm not going to be very happy. Who should start Carson Wentz, Jalen Hurts, type W for Wentz, type H for Hurts? Go. W, Carson Wentz. <laughs> okay. Hurts, I don't think Hurts is, is the guy long-term just from what I've seen in terms of him at Oklahoma. He got in the game and fumbled very quickly for Philadelphia. That's a very inauspicious sign. I still think Wentz's upside is better. He just has to figure out his mechanics, and his base is all messed up. He, he's he's off right now. I have no idea what he's word you just to, said. He's got to figure it out. His, I have no base. idea what word you said his before. Base. No, not what? base. Inauspicious? I don't yeah. You don't know what that word is? No, <laughs> Maybe I'm, I shouldn't I, be surprised. I have absolutely no idea, but a lot, a lot of H's in the comments. Let's go to another quarterback who could get benched, Dwayne Haskins in the NFC least. Ron Rivera supported Dwayne on Sunday. And then after the game, a well, little bit of a different tone, he goes on to say basically like our players are playing their hearts out and they deserve better. My only question is I don't know who they're going to go to. And sure, he hasn't played well, but there's not a lot of talent around him. So a 56.4 completion percentage, that's ranked dead last in the National Football League. Plus yards per attempt, he's 29th in the league. I mean, he's afraid to stretch the ball down the field but they don't really have anyone else. Well, yeah, normally teams are able to take more shots downfield when their offensive line is good. Sure. Washington's offensive line is not very good. And I think for Washington long term, the goal of this year. You need to figure I, it out. I know you won week one. You're not going to win the NFC East. You're right, Mitch. you got to figure out if Haskins is the guy. I know Kyle Allen ain't it. At this stage in his career and with a bent leg, it's not Alex Smith either. <laughs> so you might as well keep Haskins out there for the majority of the season. Yeah. If things really got out of hand at the back end of the year, okay, sure. But I don't think it does the organization or the player any actual good to sit him right now. I, 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 this might be an unpopular opinion, I don't, but I'm with you. I was excited about Kyle Allen last year, and I got I a real smack you. across the face. I'm rolling with Dwayne Haskins for the entire season because even if this year is a wash, you need to figure out if he's your future or not. And if he's not, guess what? Then you can move on. So type your votes in here. Should Washington bench quarterback Dwayne Haskins? Type zero for yes. Type one for no. I'm typing my one for no, Tom. Good answer. You're going to go one. one for no. He needs more time. All right, Tom. Let's go now to some injury news around Jarrell Casey. If you live in Denver... Maybe you should move because this might be the most unlucky city minus San Francisco uh, right now. Something in the water for those Broncos players because they're all getting hurt. Now Jarrell Casey, who they traded for, and I thought a very good deal with the Tennessee Titans. I thought Denver won that deal. Well, he's now out for the year with a torn biceps. That's not fun at all. That adds Von Miller, Cortland Sutton, and Jarrell Casey out for the year as a reminder Drew Locke is going to miss time with his injury. Also, A.J. Boye. Uh, A.J. Boye is missing time. Jawan James opted out of the season. I mean, if you were picking, like, some of the top Denver Broncos players, I think we just named, like, five of the top 15 or 20. Correct. That's a huge problem for the Denver Ooh, Broncos. Look at that game of the week. Oh, yeah. Broncos, That's Thursday Jets. night football, baby. We might do a watch party here. Who I'm, says no? I'm not doing it. No? If, if you want to do it on your own time, Producer sure. Sam's waving in the background. And putting up a W. I don't really know why. <laughs> okay. What are you, Winston All over right, there? All right, so we're showing you the Broncos' remaining games. Obviously, I actually think they have one of the tougher remaining schedules in mm. a lot of the AFC West teams do. So how about this? You're looking at a team that last year mm -hmm. did struggle a little bit. They went 7-9. and nine. I want you to predict the Broncos 2020 record. Coming into the year, I had 8-8. Eight and eight. I thought 500 was very attainable for this team. I don't know if they're going to get four or five wins. I, I think that's kind of the, the reality four here. Four wins for, over for under. Four and a half wins over under. I'll take the under. <laughs> this, this team is decimated by injuries. Talent-wise, if everyone was healthy, I'm hammering the over. But they're already 0 and 3. I just I, see I don't Sam have a lot Z of saying 5 right and 11. Now. Noah Stanley 0 and 16. 3 and 13 for Manny Villegas and Edward Lewis. Typing 4 and 12. 
Got some injury news here. Chris Godwin, a little bit of an update. He missed week two with a concussion. Week three, he left early with the hamstring. Now, they also kind of said, well, he ended up leaving because they thought they had the game in hand. Now, there is going to be an MRI, and anytime a player gets an MRI in the hamstring, you got to be worried a little bit, mm -hmm. especially with some other injuries going on right now in Tampa. Godwin, to me, is one of the best wide receivers in the National Football League. You've seen the connection there mm -hmm. with Tom Brady. But as far as we have right now, he is going to be questionable, and it wouldn't surprise me if he's going to be a game-time decision. Yeah, we'll see what the Bucks end up doing. He was great against Denver when he was out he was. there. Five for 64 and a touchdown. Thank you very much for, for my fantasy team. <laughs> I, I feel that he'll be okay, but this is a couple times this year Godwin's already been a bit banged up, and I think even though they're different body parts and different types of injuries, those can add up on a player. Yeah. So I am going to have to monitor that one pretty darn closely.